Hey everyone, welcome back to Jason Explains Things and welcome to my first lawn care video at my new home. Today we're gonna to be going over the whole process of how to do a fall lawn renovation. The steps for this project are going to be first dethatching or power raking, and then aerating, and a little bit of top dressing, and then overseeding, and then finally after everything, a little bit of fertilizer. So I know I haven't shown a lot of the exterior of my home since I moved. And the kind of the reason for that, honestly, is it's not in the best of shape. I mean, uh, the front yard is all like this awful rock landscaping and the backyard is a mix of rock landscaping and grass that is in less than amazing condition. But uh, that's, why, uh, that's why we're doing this. So first thing you're gonna wanna do before you dethatch is actually you're gonna wanna try to kill as many weeds as possible. About a month ago, I sprayed um, the yard with a weed killer called Weed Whacker, and it got some of the weeds, but it didn't get them all, and it's kind of a bummer, but we're kind of running out of time. Uh, we want to plant our new grass before uh, eight to 10 weeks before the first thaw of the year, and you have to wait at a full month before you overseed after spraying for weeds. So I'm only gonna be able to do one weed treatment this year. Uh, if you can, start this whole process earlier in the year and do two, uh, and then do what we're doing today. So first thing, again, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. It's not a perfect world, is we're going to mow a little lower than usual. I usually have my Honda mower here set at two and a half inches. I'm gonna raise it or I'm going to not raise it, I'm going to lower it down to two, uh, mow the whole thing and bag it. Usually I mulch, but today I'm gonna to bag it because we're trying to get material off the yard and uh, then we'll move on from there. Last year, you saw me dethatch my yard with this uh, Honda powered Mantis uh, tiller and uh, with a dethatching power rake kit. But because my new yard is quite a bit bigger, I'm going to be using this Klassen TR20 I rented from Home Depot. So that should make this whole process a whole lot easier. So anyway, enough chit chat, I've been talking too long. Let's get started with mow, mowing, mowing. Let's get started with mowing. <laughs> All right, it is time to do our power raking. So here is our power rake from Home Depot. Like we, like I mentioned earlier, this lever right here adjusts your height. So that is lowest setting, that is highest setting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start there. We'll see how that goes. Uh, the engine, very cool. Just like uh, my mini bike that uh, hopefully you've seen the videos of that. We got our on off switch right here, our pull start throttle, choke, and our on-off switch for the fuel. All right, daylight's burning, let's go. Wow, it is amazing the amount of garbage that that machine pulled out of the grass. That was impressive. All right, well, we're not done yet, so come on. Oh, look at all this crap. Oh. Anyway, next step is to get all of this garbage off of our grass. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that in one second. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, getting all the dead stuff after dethatching was uh, a lot of work. Anyway, I gotta get that dethatcher back to uh, Home Depot and see if I can get myself an aerator. All right. Okay, 
So I've got a four hour rental instead of a one day rental unlike the, uh, the Thatcher, so I'm gonna talk fast for you. So this is a Klassen Core Aerator I rented from Home Depot. Uh, core Aerator is different than the Slit Aerator I used last year with the, essentially that cuts, cuts like a knife into the, into the turf. This one takes out those turd shaped cores. Um, but it's gonna do awesome for the yard. It's gonna allow air, it's going to allow nutrients, it's going to allow seeds, um, and uh, yeah. So uh, I gotta get started. Good morning, everybody. It is a new day and, uh, oh, I wanted to let you know that I did get the aerator back to Home Depot in time for the four hour rental, which was cool, but I have a short, quick little anecdote slash warning for you. Um, so when I rented the air rake, uh, the power rake from Home Depot, uh, a nice older gentleman said to me, hey, just so you know, we're gonna charge you a cleaning fee if you return this all muddy. All you need to do is just hose off the exterior, the wheels, make sure it's all nice and clean. Um, you know, otherwise we're gonna have to charge you a, a, a fee. And I'm like, oh, okay, fair enough. So I did that with the power rake, returned it. I did that with the aerator. And when I returned it, this uh, different person, other than uh, this nice lady, uh, very nice, uh, <laughs> she was there and she said, oh, honey or sweetie. She said honey or sweetie, which is kind of like, kind of like rubbing me wrong, the wrong way a little bit. Uh, she said, oh, honey, um, you're supposed to not only clean the exterior, but you're supposed to clean all the tines. I still see some dirt in there, honey. And I'm like, okay, uh, that's different than what the last guy told me. And she's like, well, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to charge you a cleaning fee. Do you wanna go clean this? And I'm like, well, it's late and I'm not gonna drive this all the way back to my house to clean it and then bring it back to you. So I guess I'll be paying your cleaning fee. And uh, how much was that cleaning fee? What do you think? $75. <laughs> Which was more than the rental of the aerator in the first place. So I kind of realized I'm a little bit mad about that. And uh, I've been talking about Home Depot and how awesome they are in this video. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? And I'm like, oh yeah. Have I told you guys how much I love Lowe's? Lowe's, they are so great. I mean, I got my, I got a toilet at Lowe's. I bought uh, all my hardwood flooring at Lowe's. Oh my, man, I think I bought this at Lowe's. I did. This broadcast spreader, Lowe's. Oh, and did you know that the 24 volt max cobalt brushless reciprocating saw is, is super powerful and awesome. Way better than Ryobi. I love this blue cobalt exclusively from Lowe's brushless reciprocating saw. Lowe's, uh, you can do it, we can help. Is that it? The Home Depot, you can do it, we can help. I think that's it. I still love you Home Depot, but you know what you did. You hurt me, you hurt me right here. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the yard. So the first thing I did this morning is I woke up early and I spread some peat moss on the yard. And just, you know, I could have done a whole lot more peat moss than I did, but I just want, kind of in the spirit of getting this done and realizing that this yard is not a golf course, uh, I did the most bare spots where the grass was the most dead uh, and also where the grass was the most uneven. So that's where we're at today. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is spread some grass seed. So I've got uh, 60 pounds of high desert lawn mix from my local farm store. So this is a mix of uh, red fescue and perennial ryegrass. Uh, then we got my Scott's broadcast spreader. So these broadcast spreaders have different settings uh, like all of them do for the distribution, how much you're putting out. And this broadcast spreader recommends a setting of five and a half for reseeding a yard or eight and a half 
for doing uh, spreading seed for a new yard. So I'm gonna probably split the difference between those two because I do have quite a lot of bare spots in my yard. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and of course, you're just gonna wanna do a little bit of research for your particular spreader. They're all a little different, but if you have the Scott's Turf Builder Edge Guard DLX, those are the uh, numbers you're supposed to use. Cool. Okay, so it has been three full days since we did the overseeding. So now it is time to spread some fertilizer. So I'm gonna be using Melorganite, which is a nitrogen-based fertilizer. Really, really awesome. Tons of you recommended it to me on my spring lawn care video, and thank you very much for doing that. I have used nothing else since uh, for several reasons. First off, it is non-burning, so you can't kill your grass by accident if you put too much down. If there's a mishap or something like that, we've got a bug. <laughs> uh, also, it is not poisonous to pets and your children and stuff like that. And I have pets and children, so, uh, and I don't want to poison them. The back of the bag recommends a setting of 11 and a half for my Scott's broadcast spreader. So that's what I'm going to be using. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and spread this stuff. You guys stay tuned because I'm about to show you the results after four weeks of, uh, of what we did. And also, oh, Definitely remember to constantly be watering the yard, keep it nice and damp, and uh, that way everything can grow and be all nice. And it's crazy, the past few days, is fall has just like all of a sudden arrived. It's been raining, it's been cold, that's why I'm wearing things with sleeves. And uh, yeah, all right, I'm gonna go get this done. Wow, so much better. Oh, hi. <laughs> well, again, it's been about a month now since we did our work on the grass back here in the backyard and it's looking a whole lot better. The fertilizer definitely made the grass a nice dark green color. Uh, a lot of, dark, a lot of sp uh, sparse spots did fill in. Some did, some didn't. Um, and some weeds definitely uh, got choked back a bit, like back in the corner back there, there was some nut sage that was bright green. Now it's like a kind of a dying orange color. So I'm very pleased about that. Uh, other weeds are definitely still kind of in there, but uh, you know, uh, we aim for perfection, but we're happy with improvement. That's what I like to say. I mean, this, is, this lawn is definitely not uh, you know, I'm not going for competitions. Uh, this is definitely where, you know, we're gonna be recreating. Kids are gonna be playing on this grass. It's not, this is not one of those don't walk on the grass kind of ones. So it's okay, it's okay. Um, but anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope this video was a lot of help. Leave a comment if I did something wrong, or even if you think I did something wrong and I didn't, still leave a comment, uh, you know, tell me, tell me how dumb I am, I always appreciate that. Lots more yard work stuff to come. The front yard I have not touched yet. It's still that awful rock landscaping that I really truly hate. And so there's gonna be a lot of work. A lot, a lot of changes are gonna happen to this, uh, to this landscaping, this yard and everything, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, thank you all for your support. Like and subscribe and ring bells and, and all that if you uh, enjoyed this. Uh, consider supporting me on Patreon if you really, really like it. And uh, that's it. Um, thank you all for watching again. See you next time. Recommended by tons of you guys on my last spring lawn care video. So thank you for, for uh, repairing. <laughs>